Hi everyone, my name is Roman and welcome to my channel. So I am starting this little blog process because I think that it will be super fun and just to kind of go on my journey and you know be able to see my own personal growth. Um, so this vlog is probably going to be a bit longer than uh, expected. Well, it's probably not going to be like a hugely long vlog, but what I'm saying is I'm shooting it uh, throughout the whole month of June. It is Pride Month and New York City is just bustling. So in these two clips you see me at Carrie Bradshaw's place as well as Nexus Club Salon Suite over in Tribeca. Um, I thought they were really cute and it was a nice little stop off between clients. So you're probably wondering what is it that I do when you come to my channel and why you should be interested. Um, well, to answer that, I do a few things. I'm an actor, I do some modeling, some singing, uh, writing. I'm a creative writing and journalism major at a university in London, which I'll be going back to in the fall. And on top of that, I'm a licensed cosmetologist in several states. And currently, since I live in New York, I work for a company where I freelance and do hair. So you're going to see me running around Manhattan. Uh, getting ready to take my clients. Now, sometimes, like, or in the future, I probably will have some of these clients on camera, but just for their, you know, own personal space, I don't usually like to film my clients. Sometimes they're at their own homes, um, and other times they're at hotels. Um, this hotel in particular that I'm going up to, uh, while you see me doing some sightseeing, is uh, the Equinox Lawn Hotel um, near 33rd uh, Street in Manhattan. Um, as you can see, we got to see a bit of the monuments and sightseeing around there. And you know, it was really cute. I liked that the belt, like the check-in service guests, like they wear white suits. And I thought that was so different, so niche and so cute. Um, so come along with me as we go to this client. Yeah. What's the worst case scenario? Plan out of your head how it's all gonna go. So you think you got it covered. But there's always something new that you discover you've not thought about You can never figure out Every possible outcome And you're so scared you'll get it wrong Have a good time but a worry after Petrified will they think I'm awkward When your brain's wired for disaster Even good things leave a bitter taste Try to calm down, thoughts spinning faster Next up was the Ed Sheeran concert. Oh my God, had such a blast doing that. So my best friend in seventh grade, uh, she invited me to the concert. One of our other mutual friends uh, from high school uh, couldn't make it from Chicago. So I ended up getting an invitation. And you know, I only knew about like three or four Ed Sheeran songs, but I can definitely say after this concert, I am a super fan. Um, the music was incredible, the performance, the fact that he was layering not only the instrumental, uh, but his vocals in order to create a different show for every night. Cause he said like the show of last night wasn't the same as tonight. So the clips you'll see is a bit of that, us singing along and just all the support. There were 89,000 people at that concert and he said that was his biggest concert. And I find what was most inspirational about this was that he started out singing in pups to nobody, then he said a few people, people's backs turned, and um, eventually it led to him singing to 89,000 people because he didn't give up. And that is what I found quite inspiring. So check out this Ed Sheeran clip. So I decided to create more content for my social media channels um, with what I do in cosmetology. Now these are things that are listed on my website, but if you go to my Instagram page for cosmetology, it's particularly just hair, like photo shoots, set shoots, and just, you know, clients. 
So I was like, you know what? I actually do other stuff than this. I do massages, I do like waxing and uh, epilation or things like that. So I wanted to show that. And the next clip is me basically doing that, showing you some waxing. It does get a little graphic. I will say that because the uh, client was getting a Brazilian wax. Um, we had to blur out some things. Okay, this is YouTube. I'm not trying to get like any kind of warnings or band labels. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that's all a part of the job. You know, the best part about living in Manhattan is that, or just in New York City in general, is that there's always something to do. So, event time. After I had to, well, I didn't have to, but I was invited to uh, a friend of mine event who was modeling in this fashion show in Alphabet City at a bar, which was very unique and very different. This friend has been in Vogue Japan and has done some incredible work as a model. And they were helping out a designer friend of theirs and modeling in the show. And I thought that was so amazing. Um, also, particularly because it was showcasing not only a new designer, but new models. And I thought that was interesting. And models of variations in size, color, and a background. So I thought that was very trends trendy and trend forward um it's not a word i just feel like i'm gonna make that a word trend forward um but it was really dope so i got to go to this fashion show and i had a really good time So we got off at Columbus Circle, uh, 59th Street. Um, the hotel club situation is on 55th Street. Uh, and we're just walking there now. Um, hopefully we have a good time because I'm old and I don't go out anymore. But we're going to go out and we're going to do it because the bitch is back.
for the night's over. But we got to stop coming out again. We can get some food. Happy in the Why does this almost look like New Orleans? So what I wanted to do is a little haul. Right now, I'm gonna show you some of the products that I got. As you guys may know, I am a cosmetologist, a journalism student, and an actor slash entertainer. So with that being said, let's get into some of the products that we got at Ulta. So first, I wanna start off with these foam rollers that I got. So I actually already own foam rollers. However, they are very colorful, like the ones that like the ones you get at like CVS or Walgreens or something like that. Um, and it's like a multi-pack of colors. I really don't like that aesthetic. Just doesn't look very professionally pleasing to me. So I saw these black ones at Ulta and had to get them. There are eight rollers in a pack and they have a really good size. Um, next, I got my alligator or crocodile clips, um, which are great for holding the hair. A lot of times my clips, like I have those clips, but whenever I get them at the hair supply stores, here, um, like, you know, the regular ones you'll go to, they tend to break easily and they're like six bucks a pack. Um, this didn't have as many clips in the pack usually. Usually there's like four to six clips in a pack. This was only, there are only three clips in this pack and it was, I believe, $10. Um, so that was a little different. I saw these uh, and I got these on Amazon. Uh, they had some gold ones at Ulta that I, were thinking of, I was thinking about getting, but then I was like, you know what, let me see if they have them in black. They had them on Amazon, so I actually got these. Really like those for when I'm rolling here, setting it. And then to help out, because there's uh, tomorrow I'm gonna be on set with Granny and Maybelline, 
Um, I have some of these little flat clips that do not leave indentation marks in the hair and they're great because the makeup artist is gonna be doing the makeup whilst I'm doing the hair. So it's good to like keep the hair away from the face. Sorry, I have no makeup or anything on right now. I'm looking a little beat and busted. I was doing some spring cleaning and I have to go run some errands after this. Um, yeah, I'm probably gonna take these little peach color ones out of the pack though and just only put the white and black ones in my case or maybe just the black ones. Cause typically you only kind of need like two or maybe four at best. One, two, three, four. And there's definitely four black ones in here. So I'll do that. Also off Amazon, I got this Aerogel Gel Spray. So I was on set doing a film in Atlanta in April and the other hairstylist, she was using that to lay down the wigs for uh, some of the uh, actresses. And typically I make wigs. I don't really like to put them on. Um, that's just tedious to me. But sometimes when you're on set, people do have wigs and frontals and lace, things like that. And they need that type of care. I usually also like keep needle and thread with me as well, just in case I have to sew anything. So I got that just in case I need it. Lastly, I got this Aikite wax stick. And the wax stick is great is because it can lay down your flyaways, um, which is really helpful. Uh, sometimes you don't wanna use hairspray because it can be drying if it's alcohol based or it just makes the hair crunchy. A lot of times I use a lightweight hairspray or like a finishing spray, which does not leave the hair crunchy. Um, but yeah, when clients see the, the bottle, they just automatically assume it's hairspray and they automatically think it's going to leave it crunchy or whatever or hard and unmovable. Even when you tell them, they're just like, oh no, I just, you know, from experience, so you know. Sometimes I'll spray it in my hand or like spray the spray on the brush and then kind of get the flyaways. But because wax sticks are very popular right now, I'm gonna use this wax stick. At times I've used like a mince pomade or paste and did it. Like, you know, you just put like a little bit on your hands and then you make sure you emulsify it throughout the palms with your heat so that way you can't even see it. But then really when you get rub the flyaways, it like works perfectly. And last but not least, one second, let me move some of this stuff here. My shoes came in and I'm super excited. This is something for myself, not for my clients. Mark Nolan. It's like these are the Odell Sacramento Belgian Green loafers, and they have a new shoe smell. So let's see what's in the box. Okay. So in the box we have first we have a nice little shoehorn, and I love when you order shoes and they give you a shoehorn. Actually, let's see. Like the inside of this box is cute too. The outside is this nice blue color, but then you have like this golden, deep gold, like 18 karat sort of color go uh, finishing on the insides. So that was really nice. Yes, but I love when they give you a shoehorn. Then you have a dust case or dust bag. See, Mark Nolan. Gonna fold that back up into the third. And then the shoehorn right in between. Look at the shoes out. I'm just... I love a good shoe. I don't have a shoe fetish, so it comes in this plastic, but let's take it out of the plastic. And is this just not a really good shoe? Look at it. I mean, I have like a shoe fetish. Like there are shoes, like I have more shoes than I have clothes and of cosmetology stuff. Like I have several suitcases and I think two or three of the big ones are filled with shoes alone. And yeah. So that was my haul for today. Next is back to work. So basically after some of the fun, I had to, I did a um, hair for our Garnier Maybelline shoot over in East uh, Hampton over in Montauk. Um, and that was pretty dope. I mean, it was not without its hitches. Oh my God. Like the, the space was beautiful. You'll see in the next clip, um, you know, we came put together to do the job or whatever. However, at this hotel we were shooting at, they did not have adequate electricity. So whenever me and the other here saw this blow dryer were both running at the same time, the power kept going out. So I personally ended up having to do hair like in a basement somewhere in the hotel, um, <laughs> like practically dark. Um, then it started raining, my kit got wet. It was just like a mess mid to end. 
I'm just glad that we were able to do everything and the shoot came out well. I did this wet hair look on this gorgeous influencer because all the models uh, were influencers. Um, and, and when it started raining and she was going for the wet look, apparently this was an iconic photo in the making.